So this is a video I kind of been wanting to make for a little while, and I know I'm not really doing tutorial videos anymore, but one of the biggest questions I get asked as someone who used to make a lot of Vroids was, why can't I import my VRM back into Vroid? And the short answer is they're not the same file format. And then I also get like, well, what if I convert it into a Vroid file? It's not really that easy. It's not something you can really do. Now, let me kind of explain a little bit. Think of it like this. You're trying to make a recipe. Let's say you're making cookies and you have your ingredients. You have your flour, you have your sugar, you have your baking soda, you have your chocolate chips, you have your eggs, you have everything individual. And while they're individual, you can make adjustments individually, right? You can take away flour, you can add flour because they're separate. Well, that's kind of what Vroid is doing. Everything is separate. They're in its own mesh with its own textures. It's everything is separate. Once it exports into VRM, that's like taking all these ingredients and mixing it into a bowl to make cookie batter. At that point, you're not really separating out that flour anymore. You're not separating out, you know, that sugar anymore. Like you can't at most, maybe chocolate chips. <laughs> but my point being is that now that you've exported it as this dough, this cookie dough, this VRM, um, and that is your, your, your like product, right? And what most people are asking is how you get that product back into its individual components. And it's not something you can really do through Vroid. You can take it into Blender, and Blender can separate it, not like I don't have a really good analogy for that one, but Blender can separate it, but now it's been written as something new and Vroid doesn't recognize it as flour and sugar and eggs anymore. It now sees it as something completely different. Um, even if it is technically the same, Vroid just doesn't understand that that's the same because it's like, that doesn't look like the flour I gave you. That doesn't look like the eggs I gave you. That's something else. So it doesn't allow it in. So, um, basically that's the long answer, um, and described in a way that hopefully will help people understand why you can't just import it in. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's kind of it. I hope that kind of helps you understand a little bit why you can't import VRMs into Vroid. They're just not compatible once you export them. Technically, Vroid doesn't support VRM. It only supports .vroid files. But, yeah. Okay. That's it. Bye. <laughs>